lead generating websites, student trends, transferring direct debits, this week at Nest. This week has been a very busy week, as always. Last week, we mentioned our launch of the Back to School campaign, and it has been so great to see so many clients already using the social posts, ads, and printed materials from our most comprehensive campaign to date. The Nest Management Community Group is a great asset to all of our clients, and if you haven't joined, be sure to answer the security question and get involved as soon as possible. It's so good to see the martial arts community come together and help each other out. Be sure to also follow us on social media. All the links are in the description, along with many other useful resources just for you. Our lead generating MyMay websites have made a massive difference to our clients. It's so important to have a website that looks good and works well. This week, we're talking to our front end web developer, Liany, on just that subject. Um, there's an old saying, content is king, yeah. and it is still really relevant today. So um, when they're making content and adding that content, it's all making sure that it's all keywords and things like that for SEO, right? It's partially that. I mean, it's, it's obviously really important that if you are doing a certain style of martial arts in a certain town or city, if you want to come up in Google with those words and they're not in your front page, you may have an issue, but it's not just the SEO. I mean, what, Google's a lot cleverer than it used to be. Mm -hmm. And they're not just looking for keyword stuffing nowadays. They're looking for content that shows credibility, trust, that it can be seen to be about the subject that you're trying to relevant. get. Relevant. Exactly. It's got to be relevant. It's got, you've got to it be trustworthy. Google can tell by what the sort of content you've got, how long your domain has been there, and it starts to build your sort of page ranking from different factors. Some of it can be how much traffic you're getting from different places. It's not so much social media, it tends to be people from other websites that Google also trusts linking to you. So over time, building some of those links will help you a lot. Okay, so what's an example of how you could build a link? Well, I mean, simple things like, do your research. On the words you want, whether, it's your, whether it is the style of martial arts you do, the city, and, and other sort of keywords you're trying to target, do your search and see what, if people are coming up above you, see what why. they're doing. Exactly, see what they're doing. And if they're linking to certain, it might be um, a big martial arts website, mm -hmm. it, it might be their local university, it might be a directory. See what they're doing and then see if you can actually get similar links for your site. Very interesting. And what about like images and things like that? So. Imagery is definitely important. I mean, it, it, we go back to this whole thing of you, people don't read web pages, they scan. So that looking at the visuals and things, those are other things that factors, maybe not so much from a search engine point of view, but from an actual visitor point of view, yeah. that will build that trust. Because so when, when you come onto a website and it's like really pretty, it makes exactly. a big difference, doesn't it? But the thing is, if you've got pictures of your students, doing martial arts moves, they're looking engaged, they're looking concentrated, they're looking excited. It's going to build that sense of trust. You know, and other people, parents and adults maybe that want to start to learn martial arts will look at those happy, concentrated, interested faces and go, I want to train there. Talk about like key head headings, what about like things like that? So Headings are good. I mean, if you've got some good headings as you go down, because again, People don't read, they don't read web pages, they scan them. So the headings are like roadmaps. Mm -hmm. They're those key things that show what that page is about. So when you are scrolling through, you go, oh, that's what I want to look at, that's, yeah. what, I'm find. that's yeah. what I found. And if you've got a call to action in the page, it's like a series of roadmaps that lead them to that call to action that basically says, whether that is book a free trial or get in touch and ask some questions. Headings and things can be a really good way of guiding them to the point that you want to be without doing great big flashing neon signs yeah. that say, click this button now. Mm. So it's thinking about structure. Also images, if you've got something really important, if you put an image near to that information, again, Because they'll scan, the they'll line. find the image and then they'll see the information that's relevant to exactly. that. Exactly. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate you coming on. Always good.
It's always great to talk with Leonie about such an interesting subject. Want to hear a little insight into the nest management software MyMA? Well, here's your chance. Within MyMA, under the Students tab, Student Reports, you will see Cancelled Pie Charts. Here you can see trends of your students that have cancelled and when they have over the past 12 months. 25 to 30% of students leave within three months. Questions are such an important part of everything we do and of course, here at Nest, we're all happy to help. Please don't hesitate to ask us about any of our products and services. You can also find our FAQ section on our website here, but you might find today's FAQ useful too. If I'm with another billing company, can I transfer the direct debits over without getting my students to complete new DD mandates? Absolutely. We'll be able to work with your existing DD provider to get all your active direct debits transferred over to us without you having to do anything at all. I know for many, work is everything you can do and think about. Making sure that you take time to rest is so important. Taking that small break and coming back refreshed can sometimes make all the difference. Be sure to take time for yourself. Looking after your own health is also a priority. Well, that's it from me. But as always, we'll see you next week. Okay, I've already recorded. Oh, I should start. I gotta start. This week has been, oh wait, wait a minute. Generation one tents. Last week we mentioned about our lead generating websites. We didn't actually, we mentioned about the campaigns, but we'll get there.